galaxy. But I think also looking down at there's there's too many places down there that I think I would like to go with my family and uh, would like to enjoy Earth living on Earth as well. Over. Hi, Dustin. That's a really good question. I think we're, that's what we're trying to figure out. Right now we have people up here, usually from six to seven months, but the Russians have had a person up in space for over a year. And they've, they've come back okay. Over. Hi, Hunter. Um, we're making, we're, we're actually um, investigating processes more than making specific medicines. Uh, we're looking at how uh, liquids and crystals form up in space because they don't have the effects of gravity on them, and that could help us with future medicines. Over. Hi, Katie. Uh, we celebrated all sorts of holidays up here already. We've had both the, uh, Christmas, the Christmas on December 25th and then the Chris Russian Christmas on January 7th and also New Year's. So each of those times we had a nice dinner together and uh, we got presents from home that we saved until those days to open them. Over. Hi, Emmanuel. The space station is primarily aluminum, but outside it also has protective covering of issues and also micrometeor problems. Over. We have about a 45-day rehabilitation program, but really what I've heard, most people take it a day for a day, which means how many days you stay up here is that many days on Earth to get back to, used to uh, working on Earth again. Over. We have an aircraft that we, we uh, use to sort of get used to um, a little bit of space sig sickness by, uh, it's called the Vomit Comet, and maybe Joe Acaba could tell you a little bit more about 